Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here in this video. We're going to solve a differential equation. So let's get going. Problem, solve cos x of cos x minus sin alpha sin y dx cos y into cos y minus sin alpha sin x into dy equal to 0. Given differential equation, cos x into cos x minus sin alpha sin y into dx plus cos y into cos y minus sin alpha sin x into dy equal to 0, right? Which is of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0. Where by comparing these two, we'll get m and n, where m equal to cos x into cos x minus sin alpha sin y and n equal to coefficient of dy, that is cos y into cos y minus sin alpha sin x, right? m becomes cos alpha, sorry, cos x into cos x is cos square x minus sin alpha cos x sin y and n becomes cos y into cos y is cos square y minus sin alpha sin x cos y. If the partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. We can say that the given differential equation is a exact equation. Okay. If partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So now let's find partial derivative of m with respect to y and partial derivative of n with respect to x. Partial derivative of m with respect to y. This equals to dou by dou y of m. Cos square x minus sin alpha cos x sin y. Right? This equals to dou by dou y of that is partial derivative of first term minus partial derivative of second term. Since here we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so x is treated as constant. In the first term, cos square x is constant here, sin alpha is constant and cos x is constant. Let's write the constants outside the brackets from the second term. This equals to derivative, partial derivative for constant with respect to y is 0 minus constant, constant into partial derivative of sin y. This gives us minus sin alpha cos x into partial derivative of sin y with respect to y is cos y. Right? This gives us minus sin alpha cos x cos y. Right? Let's now find partial derivative of n with respect to x. This equals to dou by dou x of cos square y minus sin alpha sin x cos y. Right? We can write this as partial derivative of first term minus partial derivative of second term. Since here we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so y is treated as constant in the first term cos square y is constant, in the second term sin alpha is constant and cos y is constant, right? This is equal to partial derivative of constant with respect to x is 0 minus, write the constants outside the bracket here, 
will get sin alpha cos y into partial derivative of sin x with respect to x. This is equals to minus sin alpha cos y into partial derivative of sin alpha with respect to sorry partial derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x this is equals to minus sin alpha cos x cos y see by observing these two we can say that partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x equals to minus sin alpha cos x cos y therefore partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x equal to minus sin alpha cos x cos y right therefore partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x this shows that the given differential equation let's consider the given differential equation as equation number one one is exact since the given differential equation is exact now we'll find the general solution to the exact differential equation the general solution is given by integral m dx treating y as constant plus integral terms of n free from x into dy equal to c right let's now find these two integrals separately i'll begin with integral m dx treating y as constant this is equal to integral m cos square x minus sin alpha cos x sin y into dx here y is constant right we know that cos 2 theta equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 or we can write this as 2 cos square theta minus 1 equal to cos 2 theta right just take this minus 1 to RHS it becomes 1 plus cos 2 theta okay now take this 2 to RHS we'll get cos square theta equal to 1 by 2 into 1 plus cos 2 theta okay so now let's replace cos square x by 1 by 2 times 1 plus cos 2x okay if we replace theta by x we will get cos square x equals to 1 by 2 of 1 plus cos 2x okay just replace cos square x by 1 by 2 of 1 plus cos 2x then this becomes integral treating y as constant replace cos square x by 1 by 2 of 1 plus cos 2x minus second term second term remains the same into dx right this equals to 1 by 2 integral 1 into dx dx plus 1 by 2 integral cos 2x dx minus integral sin alpha cos x sin y dx since y is treated as constant right here treating y as constant so in the last term sin alpha and sin y are constants okay let's write the constants outside the integral then we'll get 
वन बाई टू इंटीग्रल डी एक्स प्लस वन बाई टू इंटीग्रल कॉस टू एक्स डी एक्स माइनस साइन अल्फा साइन वाई इंटू इंटीग्रल कॉस एक्स डी एक्स This becomes one by two. Integral d x is x plus one by two. Integral cos two x d x is sine two x by two minus sine alpha sine y into integral cos x d x is sine x, right? Since integral dx is x, integral cos a x dx is sine a x by a, and integral cos x dx is sine x. This equals to x by two. Plus sine two x by two two is a four. Minus sine alpha sine x sine y. Therefore, integral m dx treating y as constant equal to x by two. Plus sine two x by four minus sine alpha sine x sine y. Let's now find the second integral, that is integral of terms of n free from x. Now coming to the second integral, integral of terms of n. Free from x into dy. So now observe n. We need terms which are free from x. So the term which is free from x is cos square y, right? So we'll get cos square y in the integral. Since we know that cos square theta equal to one by two times one plus cos two theta, let's replace it. Let uh, let's replace theta by y. So you'll get cos square y equal to one by two times one plus cos two y, right? Now just replace the integral by one by two times one plus cos two y into dy. Here one by two is constant, so let's write it outside the integral. We'll get one by two integral of one plus cos two y into dy. This equals to one by two. Of integral one dy, that is one into dy is dy plus integral cos two y dy. This is equals to one by two of since integral d theta is theta and integral cos a theta d theta is sine a theta by a. Then you'll get Integral dy y plus integral cos 2y dy is sine 2y by 2. Okay, which is equals to. You can just leave it like this, or you can write it as y by 2 plus sine 2y by 2 to the 4. Now coming to the general solution. Result obtained from the first integral is x by two plus sine two x by four minus sine alpha sine x sine y plus result obtained from the second integral is either you can choose any of these two. Let's take the second one. One by 
टू टाइम्स वाई प्लस साइन टू वाई बाय टू इक्वल टू सी नाउ यू कैन राइट द फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स एस वन बाय टू टाइम्स एक्स प्लस साइन टू एक्स बाय टू माइनस द नेक्स्ट टू टर्म्स रिमेंस द सेम Which completes the problem. Okay. So you can write the first two terms of this form by taking one by two common from these two terms, or you can just write like this. Okay. Therefore, x by two plus sine two x by four minus sine alpha sine x sine y plus y by two plus sine two y by four equal to c or One by two times x plus sine two x by two minus sine alpha sine x sine y plus one by two times y plus sine two y by two equal to c is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from differential equation in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.